was drawn here this weekend purely for the presence, because we're in such a unique moment in time, focused in this now experience with Esther, with Abraham. Good time to know your power, isn't it? And in, in part, earlier today, I've already felt the exhilaration of why I came. Yeah. Because every conversation that I found myself having you felt resonance with something that you already knew, some things that you've been reaching for, but it was just like a clicking into place. Like it was almost as if it was the turning to things, the things that had been in your vibrational, yeah. And in, in all of those conversations, there was this exhilaration for those that I had a conversation with and here as my witnesses, the flow of energy yeah. to me and through me was unparalleled. Yeah, yeah. And the, the real reason why I would like to think that you called upon me in this moment in time is because of the exhilaration that Jerry felt in these hours that are before us 12 years ago. And I'd like to... I'd like to ask. Be specific. As Jerry has been frolicking in the non-physical now for the last 12 years, yeah. can we hear from him in this moment in time as to his now experience? Oh, you hear it all the time. We can't keep him quiet. Because we've been, we've been reveling in the new plateaus of understanding yeah. of this work. Yeah. And we, as a community, revel in the... Moreness. Yes. Moreness, moreness. Yeah. Yeah. Esther was thinking as she was, she comes before and enjoys watching you as the music is playing and you're doing the wave. <laughs> and... She was thinking about how Phoenix is really significant to her because Jerry and Esther met Abraham in Phoenix. And every time that she flies in, she points out to whoever the poor person is that's riding with her that's heard it every time they've driven by, this is approximately the spot. The freeways are a little different now, but this is about where we were the day we pulled off the freeway. And it, Jerry talked to Abraham for uh, all afternoon, so excited for the first time, because until then it had been computer, typewriter communication and so forth. And then Esther was thinking about the fun that they had living here and the exhilaration of the Abraham experience broadening. And then she thought, and this was such a sweet thought to her, completely pain-free now, that this is the first place that she wanted to be when Jerry was not standing in his cute little body next to her on the stage. Do any of you see energy? You see auras? The further back you are, the easier it is. Can you see any energy behind Esther? Yeah? If you can see it, and don't worry if you can't, it just means you're evil. If you have glasses on, take them off, it makes it easier because you've learned to focus your eyes to the particles of physicality. And this energy is different from that, ever so slightly. So just look in the direction of Esther and kind of look like you're trying to see right through her at a red dot on the curtain behind her. Just kind of look right through her. And you'll notice energy around her, kind of like if it were a light making a shadow, it would be like that, but it's the absence of a shadow, it's light. Can you see it a little bit? Sometimes people are so good at translating, they can see it between her fingers, can you? So. If you've got a bead on it, do you? If you do, say yes. So now watch it and we'll just goose it up just a little bit because we want you to, if you can, if you're ready, if you want to, no big deal, take a look as the energy becomes more. And in that energy, seeing it? You're feeling it, seeing it? Anybody? Further back you are, the easier it is. Understand that your inner being is there too with no exception. So it's a stream, it's a current. Now, you can look for individuals, those like Jerry, and 
Einstein. He's everywhere with us these days because he's really hot on this law of attraction thing. Look, Minister Fuller hangs out. He's there all the time. Gandhi, path of least resistance guy, you remember him? There are some significant energies that you may be able to pick out in clumps, can you? If you can, Jerry is one of those. Jerry's one of those really interested in every subtle nuance that expands. Every one of them. Every one of them. Your inner beings are too. Jerry's just more pronounced because he's a more active part of what's going on with Esther all day, every day. Is that what you're reaching for? Yeah. That's that and also is the reverence that I felt this morning in, in the, the waves of thrill bumps that were radiating through me every time I was talking about this body of work, Jerry Esther. Reverence and resonance. Appreciation is the reverence part, but resonance is the most important part. There's nothing serious going on here. We know exactly what you mean in and the, how you mean it. In the field of awarenesses, though, that feeling of being tapped in, tuned in, turned well, on. Well, that awareness of stuff, that's what you're reaching for. But here's the thing. So here's this sliding scale that you're reaching for. We want you to feel the energy of non-physical. And we want you to manage it through your own thought process. And we want you to really, really enjoy turning that energy into experiences and bank accounts and anything that is important to you success on all levels to you anything that rings your bells that's what you're here for you see if you can shake loose of struggle and compromise and comparison and feel yourself a cooperative component with every person on the planet pushing against not one of them feeling the okayness and the rightness rightness isn't the word the okayness and the reasonedness the wanting to be here there's not right and wrong action there's preferred and not preferred we'll give you that but it's all for the purpose of this discovery of individual desire and this alignment with the source that is you and as more and more of you have this spectacular experience of getting to feel the fullness of all of that then you walk in this world of discord and difference and contrast without your personal suffering you walk through it with your understanding that it all belongs and that you get to choose from what's there, you see. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be in physical form. We like it when you join us in our energy and we like it even more when you take that connection with that energy and you apply it to things that matter to you because you're creators. Yeah. And I've found times where there's I'm launching rockets of desire and I'm just not patient. Like I desire something, I want to work strongly towards it. And part of me is driven. I spent the last 22 years in the military and like part of me has this burning desire to do something and I want to achieve it immediately. Like I want to chase it, put this energy into it. But we think that's good. That's just fine. But we want to help you find one little way of massaging that into a place that will work so much better for you. And that is take all that feeling of wanting it to be more and wanting the momentum of it. But instead of it being an observational action orientation, let it be an awareness scene orientation because that's what's happened here today you have a greater awareness we know you do you have to we felt it happen within the room we felt you shift you have a greater awareness of your power right now than you did before and of the perfection of the law of attraction which is inherent in every physics law in every mathematical equation it's inherent in everything everything that is biological everything that is everything that is everything this vibrational matching is what it's all about and so when you really get the notion that you are an extension of source energy who has awareness of you awareness not just awareness of who you were before you came into this body but who you are because you've been in this body and what you've asked for since awareness of that vibrational expansion of you who understands you so completely and isn't at odds with where you are just understands where you are in relationship with what you're becoming oh, talk about ease that's ease that's the ease that you're looking for that realization that I'm okay where I am and it's even logical that I am here 
and having lived what I've lived has caused this to all happen and now nothing less than that will do that's why you feel impatient but if you think you're gonna make it happen through determination or demands of others that's a hard way to go about it and it produces paltry puny results but when you master your alignment with this energy that creates worlds and you become this worthy feeling pointer that is called by the love that is truly who you are then no matter what the situation is you cannot get it wrong you can't miss it sometimes people worry as they listen to us Abraham you teach selfishness we sure do because you only have the perspective of self Abraham you teach a sort of invincibility shouldn't we be more humble invincibility is who you are you didn't say I'll go and let earth beat me up and then I'll croak and then I'll go do it again and if I get beaten up enough I'll know what to avoid you said I'll go and I'll choose because you knew your power of choice and the thrill of focusing in the thrill of engaging engaging with this source energy you aren't making your way to enlightenment you are enlightenment you're not making your way to worthiness you are worthy you're not proving yourself to someone who is good while you're not you are that goodness you see and the rub is everybody else is too and sometimes humans comparative minds don't want to match that quite up like that but we like it so much that your seven-year-old is awarenessing awarenessing I heard this but I felt it I felt some control on me that I've never felt before and that I don't prefer I never want to crush that for her just let her have that awareness and move with it and your mentoring of her or anyone else that you're wanting to uplift is to think of your relationship with your inner being how your inner being is with you your inner being doesn't pity you or make up ground for you or focus with you in the problem your inner being stays solution oriented and wanted oriented and focused toward where you are asking to be and so you learn once you get the hang of this and you want to feel good you figure it out that going with the flow of what feels good is empowerment and so if we were standing in your physical shoes as a parent or as a mentor or as a teacher or as a supervisor you are all of these things we would watch for evidence of their engagement with their inner being and we'd comment about that and in any moment you see them not connected not in alignment we would hold our comments and not only would we hold our comments we would do our best not to offer a vibrational opinion either because people get you if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.